Hello guys and welcome back to our video. Our topic today is about plants. Let's get started with two very important terms. Autotrophs and heterotrophs. Autotrophs are organisms that make their own food. Heterotrophs are organisms that eat other organisms. They don't make their own food. Plants. Plants are autotrophs. This means that they make their own food. They do this by a process called photosynthesis. This occurs in the chloroplasts of the placid cells. They have a cell wall made of cellulose. Plant's kingdom is divided into four phyla, which are algae, moss, ferns, and last but not least, angiosperms, or flowering plants. Our focus today will be about ferns and angiosperms. Ferns are plants that can live away from water. They do this because they are well adapted against water loss. They have roots, complex leaves, a stem, a rhizome, and vascular tissues. Roots is the organ of the plant that absorbs minerals and water. Leaves are the site of photosynthesis. The rhizome is an underground stem that grows when the fronts or leaves die. And vascular tissues, they include the xylem and the phloem, transport water and nutrients throughout the plant. Ferns reproduce by spores. Their leaves have a thick cuticle. A cuticle is a waxy substance made from lipids that is found on the leaves of the plant to prevent water loss. Ferns do not grow flowers. Angiosperms can live away from water because they are well adapted to do so. They have roots, complex leaves, a stem, and vascular tissues. They reproduce by seeds, unlike ferns, which reproduce by spores. Their leaves have cuticles to prevent water loss. They grow flowers and fruits. Monocotyledons and dicotyledons. For short, monocots and dicots. Monocots are plants that have one cotyledon in their seeds. Dicots are plants which have two cotyledons in their seeds. But first, what are cotyledons? A cotyledon is the part of the seed that provides energy to the embryo. Since there is no light, a plant can't perform photosynthesis. Differences between monocots and dicots. From their name, we can conclude that monocots have one cotyledon in their seeds, while dicots have two cotyledons in their seeds. When a monocot plant grows, its leaves have parallel veins. Unlike dicots, which have branched veins. A dicot has a tap root, while a monocot has fibrous roots. The petals of a monocot plant are either three or multiples of three. So a monocot plant might have three petals, six petals, nine petals. While dicots might have four or five, or the multiples of four or five. So it might have four petals, five petals, eight petals, ten petals, etc. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day today and see you all next time.